What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Country Boy. Back again for another hardcore set of luscious video. And this is Goku TV Raw. But the truth get told it. Now, Tamika Reed. Now, this happened in South Bend, Indiana. Now, Tamika Reed. She was just minding her own business inside of her house. Ironing, uh, ironing clothes up and whatnot for our kids. And what do you have? You have four niggly bears. That's right. You got four niggly bears. What I tell you guys about this. The niggly bears had a book bags on their back and their pants sagging. Facts. <clears throat> now, this was a attempted robbery on September 30th. And these Negroes still have not been caught. Somebody need to contact the Indiana Police Department right away. Because these niggly bears have not been caught. They could have killed this lady. They could have raped this lady. They could have killed this lady's son, both of her sons. You know, all over what? Because niggly bears nowadays, they simply do not want to work. I don't think any niggly bears want to do is rob and kill. Breaking folks' houses until one of them end up getting shot with an AR-15 right in their fucking chest. Now, I really, really, really wish that a guy would have been here. If a man would have been there with an AR-15, came out the back blasting. I wouldn't have felt sorry for those four niggly bears. I would never felt sorry for them because... This is what happens when you attempt to shoot in the area and trying to rob people inside their own house. Now, if I was this lady, I feel scared too because apparently she must live in, in a nigga neighborhood. Got to be. She must live inside a nigga neighborhood. If she don't live inside a nigga neighborhood, then those niggas would be caught by now. Fact. So she must live inside a nigga neighborhood. I'm telling you. That lady live inside one of them, them Negroes neighborhoods. One of them bad end areas that niggas stay in. You got these niggly bears stay in. And so they want to break in your house, break in your car. You know? And what have the Indiana Police Department done about this? They probably get calls like this every single day. Most likely they do. And these Negroes, these little niggly bears ain't got caught yet. And you have this lady's son. You have her little four or five year old son. I'm not sure how the son is. But you have her son try to protect his mother. Because you know that's what boys do. They protect their mother. But what happens is, what happens if they would have shot this young four-year-old boy? What happens if they would have shot that young four-year-old boy, three-year-old, how he is? And that's what happens when you, I guess, living inside a nigga neighborhood. That's what happens. But if anybody got information... On these four nigger bears, please don't hesitate to call the Indiana police. Don't hesitate to call because these nigger bears are armed and dangerous and they could have killed somebody. They could have killed somebody. Every last one of the Negroes had a gun in their hand. Every last one of them. Every last one of them had a gun. Now it seemed like they really know what was going on. They really, they seem like they didn't know what to do. So these Negroes need to be behind bars for life, my friend. I don't care how they are. They look like they're probably like 16 or 17. You know what they look like. But this is what happened, people. This is what happened. Where these Negroes be getting all these guns from? That's what I want to know. Where these Negroes be getting all these guns from? Being that young. Getting guns off the streets, most likely. Most likely they're getting guns off the streets. But, um, 
It's very sad, people. Very sad, man. But and and then it was um the her son birthday. It was her son birthday. And um yeah. So this boy gonna be traumatized. I'm not sure which which one of her sons, but it was her son birthday. So this boy gonna be traumatized now. Remember this every year his birthday time comes. You remember the time when these Negroes broke inside the house? Probably could have killed us. You know, this is the reason why I tell um, white people and good black folks like myself, if you got the money, get away from niggas. Because niggas gonna pull stunts like this. And this situation could have went bad quickly. Quickly. I'm telling you, they could have just killed the whole house. You know, so... You know, you just got to get away from niggas, people. I'm telling you. You got to get away from Negroes. These little niggly bags with the book bags on their back. They up to no good. These Negroes with the book bag on their back. These little niggly bears with the book bag on their back. With the skinny jeans. And the sagging off their butt. Got to get away from those Negroes. Now... And this is the reason why people be stereotyping. Because this is the whole reason why. Because Negroes like this. Negroes like this. If I was other people on this planet, and if I was Caucasian people, oh yeah. I see one of these type of Negroes, I'm walking on the other side of the street. You got doggone right. I'm locking my doors. Because when it comes to Negroes like this, they are armed and dangerous. And like I just said, if anybody got any information about the whereabouts of these four niggly bears, with the book bags on their back, with the skinny jeans sagging out their behind, please call the Indiana, call the Indiana, call the Indiana Police Department. Hurry, because these four niggly bears need to be caught, and every last one of them need to be behind bars for life, my friend. For life. This is your boy Country Boy. Like the video, share the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next hardcore Solutions video. I'm signing out. Catch you guys next time.